I'm David Markvitz. I'm a professor of internal medicine at the University of Michigan. And I'm very excited to share some of our recent work done in collaboration with many people, principally I'd like to cite uh, Jasper Chan at the University of Hong Kong, who's been absolutely vital to this project. Essentially, we've been fighting coronaviruses with bananas. So how did we do that? Certain important pathogenic viruses, such as influenza, HIV, others, have abnormal sugars on their surface. And these uh, abnormal sugars are not found on our normal healthy cells, but they are found on viruses. So if we can actually produce agents that will bind to these sugars, that will block the ability of the virus to attach and then enter into our cells. And this is a strategy that has been investigated by others in the past. We got involved through studying a protein from bananas called lectin. Lectins are sugar binding proteins that have evolved over millions of years to have high specificity. So we take advantage of nature in order to try to target viruses. Sometimes they can provoke unwanted and uncontrolled immune responses that could be harmful to an animal and especially to a patient. But uh, several years ago, a wonderful graduate student in my laboratory, Michael Swanson, had a great idea about how he might be able to make banana lectin, fan like a safer molecule for use in human. He was able to molecularly engineer Banlac to take away its ability to provoke unwanted immune response that would be harmful, but leave its fundamental property as an antiviral agent intact. High mannose, unlike regular mannose, is not present for the most part on our healthy human cells, but is found on a number of important viruses. We showed that uh, the new molecule that emerged called H84 T Banlec is safe and effective against influenza and other important viruses. Um, it worked against all strains of influenza, worked against HIV, Ebola, hepatitis C virus, and uh, herpes viruses. Interestingly enough, we had already been interested in coronaviruses, particularly because they have high mannose on their surface proteins also. And so we began working with Jasper Chan, looking at uh, viruses such as MERS, which at the time was the most fearsome of the coronaviruses, and began to look at whether banana lectin might be effective against those viruses. And so the theory was that the um, banana lectin would interact with the spike protein. The spike protein is, of course, famous for being on the surface of the virus. It's what the vaccine is pointed against. So uh, we had the idea that it could bind to spike. And then because of that, the uh, coronaviruses would no longer be able to enter and infect. This is a, a lovely picture from Peter Hinterdorfer and Eugen O oh in, uh, in Linz, Austria showing what happens when you look at the spike protein, that's the four-pronged thing in the middle with a, a bright center, and you look at it interacting with h 84 Banlec, which is the molecule swooping by. And you can see that it binds to the outer parts of the viral uh, protein. What we also went on to show with Peter and Eugen was that it not only binds to the spike of SARS-CoV-2, but it binds with very strong bonds and in multiple places, which suggested that it could be highly effective against SARS-CoV-2. We found that h 84 t Banlec is effective against all coronaviruses tested in, uh, in the laboratory, and we tested a number of them in animal models showing the same thing. We showed that we could give systemic h uh, 84 t or especially intranasal, which would be very good uh, clinically, h 84 e band like uh, and lock or even treat uh, coronavirus infections and influenza infections. So it appears that this uh, drug has potential to be an anti-epidemic drug that could be used uh, not only against the existing coronaviruses that are so important and the existing influenza viruses that are so important, but also could provide treatment and prophylaxis of pandemic viral pathogens in the future, because we never know what will come up in the future. But it's likely 
that a lot of these uh, respiratory viruses will be susceptible to our agent. Thank you very much.